My name is Jacob and I'm graduating in the animation major with the autonomous hacking practice. I am Lena. I graduate in major animation and in practice autonomous hacking. And together we're making a, a multiplayer, semi-cooperative, uh, interactive virtual reality experience. And it's more of a sort of puzzle game where there's two players who have different uh, methods of control and they have to work together to solve um, different uh, environmental puzzles. Yeah, the, the trigger for our collaboration, um, I think it was pretty, pretty obvious for both of us, or pretty straightforward, at least in terms of, um, uh, because we both, we both sort of had a, a good idea of what we wanted to make for the final project, that like we both wanted to make some sort of interactive experience. Uh, and then we both have quite different specializations as well. So there wasn't much overlap in terms of like, oh, we both want to, you know, write the best story or we both want to influence how, the, how, the, how it's going to look. So already from that point, we knew that we sort of complemented each other's skill sets. So what I'm trying to find out is I'm trying to make a visual map of nostalgic experiences of other people. Um, and then I'm trying to implement it as props and uh, sort of set dressing elements in the game, but without influencing the narrative, the imaginary narrative of the game. The research, the, so the basis for my original research was on more focused on this idea of competitive collaboration. So how two people with opposing end goals work together to help each other reach them. Um, and so looking very much at the social dynamics between just human interaction with each other, what sort of techniques we use subconsciously or consciously to interact, uh, to influence um, the decisions of others. Um, and then that's sort of been translated into the game design world because as a game designer, your goal is to influence the player to make specific decisions. Um, and so I wanted to explore more how those techniques can be used not only for me as a designer imparting that on the player, but also for players to impart it on each other um, and to see how that, you know, then revealing the fact that they've been doing this to each other, how does that influence their relationship and what do they think of the other player? Yeah, during my presentation, of course, I was uh, explaining the process a little bit and how, um, like, um, what our project is exactly uh, like right now. And uh, here is the main sort of process room where I put concept art and uh, Jacob made this beautiful interactive element so they could just place it all over the place and uh, just walk and talk, basically. As an artist and a designer, specifying the research question is very difficult. Yes, I think so, because um, it's so subjective, first of all, and personal that you really have to find, like, you finesse how to phrase things and how to formulate things where it should be understandable, but also relevant to what you're doing. And yeah, like, like in, my, in my case, not too general or universal because it is your project, not a project. Um, so yeah, it was, it's really tough to, um, to decide because there, and it's also like there's no real answer either as to what the question should be. Um, so that's definitely makes it, um, makes it a bit of a struggle to, or, or makes it a bit foggier uh, when you're trying to come up with it. We were overconfident in the beginning or like over the top enthusiastic about how much we can do. And the thing is, we wanted to make a solid base from the start. Just like my research question revealed itself at the end, it was revealed to us at the end that this whole time we were working on a very solid base, not an actual demo. Um, so we were trying to create something we can build upon in the 
upcoming period and uh, to apply for funding with um, and see the reactions and see how it's uh, like playtesting, how the playtesting is working. I think that's the thing that I'm looking forward to. And uh, finding a creative job, probably. Mm -hmm.